Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please pause the video right now and go and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video with me. So, today I have got uh, assumptions about my video. So I asked over on my Instagram to, for my followers to make assumptions about me and what they actually think of me. So I haven't actually seen any of these yet. So I'm quite excited to see but I'm also nervous so let's just jump straight into it so the first one is you care about others more than yourself so kind of like yeah more like if they're in danger I'd probably jump in front of bus for someone and also I wouldn't want to hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that but I know my limit and if I know someone's not willing to do the same for me then I know to step back and be like no I'm not doing it for you <laughs> um yeah so kind of but kind of not next one is uh your favorite thing to train in the gym is glutes again kind of I love training legs um it's just like you feel powerful when you're training definitely um, but I also like training back at the moment. Also, that makes you feel powerful because you're like, I have some muscles. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'd agree with that one. So glutes and legs are definitely up there. And then back and then shoulders. So that assumption is definitely right. <laughs> Such a typical basic bitch in there right now. <laughs> Um, another one is you train every day so that used to be true but now I don't I train so I weight train five times a week and because of the work I do I also do um, two spin classes a week so it's more like six days a week I train but for weights it's definitely five days a week and I still feel tired after the five days <laughs> I'm getting old now guys the next one is you have a massive sweet tooth. Um hundred and that you um you had you 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 could you do hundred and ten percent that is correct. Honestly I have to have something sweet after anything savoury. So if I have a meal I have to have like one thing sweet just to tie me over until the next meal because I'm really bad when it comes to chocolate. I'm not a big sweet person, it's just chocolate for me so if you have chocolate in your pockets just offer and I probably will eat them unless you don't want to offer and she just don't even pull it out of your pocket. <laughs> next question is your boyfriend was your first love so yeah definitely um, I've had like boyfriends or dating before but never was in love. I might have thought I was but no definitely not but definitely my boyfriend now is my first love which is kind of cute. <laughs> Next one is what's your dream job? But that's not an assumption but my dream job is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm personal trainer helping people achieve their goals and get healthier and fitter every day so that is honestly my dream job um i'd love to just expand maybe even open a gym one day and help more people that'd be top top dream job <laughs> next one it's quite a lot actually um you're a family gal definitely i haven't got a massive massive family but definitely a family girl <laughs> who isn't um next one is you want to move out of wales one day and that is definitely true i definitely want to go traveling for a bit um see where i like the most probably australia because i love love hot weather so i definitely want to live somewhere that's hotter maybe all year round <laughs> instead of just for summer I'd rather like a tropical area so we don't know we might li end up living here or I might move in away so we have to wait and see um next one you're always so body confident right no <laughs> I think I portray that I'm quite confident but some days I feel absolutely crap 
and other days I feel oh my god I look great so it's days where I feel great I'll probably take the pictures and the days I don't I'll probably just wear baggy clothes around the house and just chill because not every day you're gonna feel your best so don't worry about it just if you're not feeling the greatest chuck some baggy clothes on and just chill honestly it's not worth being sad over you probably will feel better the next day anyway <laughs> um next one is you'd rather lose weight slowly than quickly this is definitely true um so if you don't know me i love my food and i will not never ever under eat to lose weight so since january now i've been dieting well not dieting i've been on and off so um mini cuts and then back into maintenance i've been doing that since january and i've lost five pounds so that's a pound a month which is really really slow to be honest with you <laughs> but i'd rather that than restricting myself or going to harm and then putting it all back on i'd rather not do that um i think it's just more sustainable for me to lose weight slower than quicker and also better for my mental health so i don't go restrictive yes so that's why i eat not eat slower <laughs> lose weight slower next one is you've never suffered <laughs> you've never suffered from an eating disorder so I've never actually been to a doctor about it but when I was younger so 16 17 I restricted a lot um, I stopped eating certain foods because they were carby or high in fat um, yeah, I've done that, but I'm, I've never had a proper eating disorder. I've just restricted a lot. But I eat everything now, <laughs> everything in sight. Um, next one, oh, I've clicked off here. You never go over your calories. <laughs> yes, I do, 100%. Um, that's probably why I've taken so long to lose weight. <laughs> um, it's okay to go over your calories. Just make sure you're in a calorie deficit for the week instead of daily. Um, you never eat out is the next one. And the answer is I do. So that assumption is definitely wrong. Whenever I go out, depending on what I fancy, I'll just have whatever I want. Or I will try and fit in, in my calories for the day. Pretty good when it comes to eating out. But if I it's the weekend and I've feel like I want to treat I'll treat myself next one is you've never trained on the weekend so as I said in my job I have to do a spin class on a Saturday so that's the only type of training I'll do I never weight train on the weekend unless I missed a session on in the week and then I'll make up for it in the weekend but that never happens when I was younger I used to train seven days a week which is stupid <laughs> never do that but um, unless you're an athlete and you have to but um, no I don't train on the weekends anymore unless I have to do the spin class which is every Saturday but other than that do nothing and chill out right next one is you're strict with your training re regime um, I'd say this one's true I do stick to my training split just because that's how I like to do it um, I never get really bored of doing it like that. If I write a program out, I like to stick to it unless I feel like I'm hurting one day, I'll swap it for another day and then make sure I still do it on the other day type of thing. So it gives me a little bit more rest time. Um, and the last one is, what's your favorite food? So healthy food, I would say at the moment is breakfast tacos. So I literally just add them. So it's little two shell tacos, um, soft tacos, and then I put a little bit of guacamole at the bottom. Then I put hex ostriches in there. And then, oh, I don't know if anyone might have tried these, but a five bean mix in tomato sauce on top. And then a little bit of lean cheese on the top. And that's amazing. Another healthy one is granola and yogurt because who can you can never go wrong with granola and yogurt and honey. Um, and healthy, always an Indian. Indian is literally my favourite takeaway. Um, 
Greek food, any Greek food. Um, steak and chips, oh, unreal. And burgers, yeah, that's it. So my favorite food, oh, can't forget, dessert, chocolate, any type of chocolate, any type of chocolate ice cream, I'm there for. Any type of ice cream either as well. Honestly, chocolate and ice cream is my favorite thing I ever to eat. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed today's video, learning more about me and if you have any other further questions just comment down below and I'll try and answer them and thank you for watching, I will see you in the next one.